Primus inter pares, or the first among equals. RISAT-1, India's first indigenous all-weather capability remote sensing satellite was successfully launched on April 26, 2012 by the Indian Space Research Organizations, that is, ISRO's technological magnum opus PSLV C-19. The country's first radar imaging satellite, RISAT-1, is capable of operating at dawn and dusk. It can see through in all weather conditions, be it clouds, rains, haze, dust, fog or smoke. RISAT-1 will be helpful in making accurate estimates of Kharif crops like rice and jute monitor disasters like floods and cyclones, be useful in hydrology, geology, land use, terrain studies and oceanography. RISAT-1 was injected into the sun-synchronous circular orbit with an altitude of 536 kilometers with a local time equator crossing of the descending pass at 6 a.m. and ascending pass at 6 p.m. This provides optimum solar power to its unique payload, Synthetic Aperture Radar, that is, SAR. The mission operation softwares were developed by ISAC Bangalore and installed at iStrack Bangalore. The RISAT-1 spacecraft operations are now controlled and carried out at iStrack. The spacecraft orbits the Earth 14 times in a day and SAR can be operated up to 10 minutes per orbit. On May 1st, 2012, RISAT-1, SAR was operated for the first time and good quality images were acquired by SAR. Starting from Gangotri in the Himalayas, flying over Ganga and Trambur, passing over Bhopal and Narmada, and finally, ending near Chikmangalore in Karnataka. Subsequently, RISAT-1 images over important coastal zone of run of Kutch, an urban mega city of Mumbai, were also obtained. RISAT-1 SAR system, which is indigenously designed and developed by the Space Application Center, Ahmedabad, is a multi-mode microwave sensor utilizing an active antenna array technology to generate microwave images in different swath and resolutions. SAR is in fact an antenna in space which operates in C-band containing as many as 576 transmit and receive modules. In optical imaging sensor, the sun's reflectance is picked up by the cameras on satellite whereas in microwave sensors like in RISAT-1, high power pulses of microwave electromagnetic radiations are transmitted from the antenna towards the Earth's surface and the signals reflected back are received by the same antenna. This feature of SAR makes it independent to sun's illumination as the microwave signals can penetrate through the clouds giving the payload the capability to image even through the clouds. To achieve imaging from satellite altitudes, a very high power transmitter is required. In order to avoid a very high power single transmitter, RISAT-1 SAR is configured with 288 small transmit receive units, that is TRUs each with 10 watts of power with net peak power of 2.88 kilowatts. These TR modules are distributed on an aperture size of 6 meter by 2 meter. This approach enabled fully indigenous development of all necessary active antenna elements. Moreover, this approach provides very fast beam steering capability to provide 
wide swath capability. For accommodating such large antenna in the launch vehicle, the antenna is divided into three panels of 2 meter by 2 meter each. Each panel is made of four tiles of the size 1 meter by 1 meter and accommodates 24 sets of TR modules. In orbit, the folded antenna is deployed and nominally pointed towards Nana. Before start of the imagery, the satellite is roll tilted by plus minus 36 degree to enable viewing either the right or the left side of the flight track. RISAT-1 can image in various modes with spatial resolution from 3 meters to 50 meters. In course resolution, scan SAR mode a swath of 223 kilometers with 50 meters resolution is achieved. With this mode, the same area can be viewed with a repetitivity of 12 days. This provides a useful tool to monitor the Kharif crops. Similarly, in the medium resolution mode, a swath of 115 kilometers with the resolution of 25 meters is achieved providing 25 days repetitivity. While in high resolution mode, a swath of 25 kilometers with a resolution of 3 meter is achieved providing a fine detail image over a selected region. These different modes of operations provide the opportunity to map the region of interest in different resolutions and different receptivity. This provides an effective means to monitor the Kharif crops like rice, which is a major crop in India. During the season, the skies are covered with clouds which pose a persistent problem for imaging from optical satellites. Hence, with the see-through-the-cloud ability of RISAT-1, this limitation has largely been overcome. The rice fields can now be identified based on the radar interaction in two phases. Initially, with the water field fields and thereafter with the growing crop fields. The large difference in the backscattering between the two stages will help in identifying the rice fields. Thus, the C-band SAR data from RISAT-1 will be crucial in monitoring the rice crop in terms of its acreage estimation, progress in its planting, biomass and yearly fluctuations. In similar fashion, SAR data can provide vital inputs for managing disasters like floods and cyclones, among others. The data from SAR can be used for flood inundation mapping and monitoring, and thereby helps in issuing spatial flood warnings, monitoring the flood effect areas, which would in turn help in reaching relief to these areas. In the long run, the SAR data can be utilized in identifying chronic flood-prone areas of the country, which would help the administrators in assessing the flood-related hazards and risks to the people, property and economy of the country. Depending upon the operation modes, SAR generates data rate up to 640 megabits per second. And such rates are handled for the first time for any of the ISRO missions. To meet this requirement, a very high bandwidth X-band data transmission system is utilized on both the satellite and corresponding ground reception systems at NRSC Hyderabad have been augmented. The spacecraft has an onboard solid state recorder, that is SSR, which can record data up to 300 gigabits. This facilitates the imaging of any part of the globe, which is first recorded on the SSR and later transmitted in playback mode during the next visibility of the satellite from the ground station. Space Application Center, SAC, Ahmedabad has developed and operationalized the data product softwares and installed it at NRSC Hyderabad. The signal received from the microwave SAR sensor needs processing to form an image. The processing steps involved are data extraction, range compression, 
brain cell migration correction and azimuth compression to obtain the raw images. Further correction like speckle removal, geocoding etc. are carried out similar to optical sensors to get the final image. SAR data requires a very high amount of signal processing to form the basic SAR imagery. These operations are carried out by the high throughput computer systems installed with SAR processing software at the NRSC ground stations. This system provides very fast turnaround time of around one hour. In addition, SAC has the responsibility of developing the methodology for the use of RISAT-1 data for a variety of applications. The realization of the complex technology for RISAT-1 needed a large number of components and subsystems. So, ISRO undertook the task of developing indigenous space level industry for building various subsystems of RISAT-1. The basic building blocks of the TR modules are various monolithic microwave integrated circuits called MMICs which were developed by Gatek Hyderabad, Astra Microwaves Private Limited Hyderabad along with Komolin Ahmedabad partnered in the development and qualification of TR modules, printing of antenna patch array, TRC and power dividers. Agilent India partnered in development of TR module measurement system. Solectron Centum Electronics Limited, Bangalore, partnered in the development and qualification of miniaturized EPC and tile harness. CG Corel, UTMC partnered in the development of ASIC for TRC. Sajanan Laser Technology Limited, Gandhinagar, partnered in the antenna fabrication. Bail Ghaziabad partnered in the development of power amplifier modules. Bombay Machines, Bangalore partnered in the development of the scanner for near field measurement. CMC Hyderabad and Ahmedabad partnered in the development of design verification of all digital subsystems. KV Microwaves Ghaziabad partnered in the development of RF absorber for indigenous test facility development. This not only reduced the cost of payload by a factor of five in terms of international cost, but also added to India's industrial base. Substantial technological capability has been demonstrated and this has resulted in the capacity building within the Indian industry. The success of RISAT-1 mission marks entry of India into a select club of countries having mastered this technology like USA, Canada, Europe and Japan. ISRO has mastered the technology with the unique SAR which operates in C-band. Its completely indigenously built payload technology is designed to cover any part of the globe. Currently RISAT-1 is a unique satellite in the civilian domain operating in C-band with the capability of wide swap, dual polarization with hybrid circular polarimetric mode. These capabilities makes RISAT-1 very useful for Kharif crop monitoring and disaster management, reducing our dependency on foreign data. The new modes of imaging also opens a wide avenue of research for further applications. Therefore, RISAT-1 truly stands first among equals.